Hello and welcome to Wigging It. And so we are back with some more tournament gameplay here. This is from a new tournament, the Quillfinch Indigo Bird Quarrel. And yeah, this one's pretty straightforward. We have a group stage followed by a knockout round uh, for those who finish in the top half of their group. So yeah, we've got a few group games to play in this one. I'll try and get as many of those featured in videos as possible. Uh, but we are going second here in one of our group games, so let us have a look. See what we've got in the starting hand. And okay, okay, we have got some good options. I like this Great Crested Grebe for sure. Oh, good options in the trait as well. Let's take a look what our opponent's gone for. Okay, very worm and rodent. Is there a worm in the feeder? There is. Okay, so maybe Flycatcher could be on the menu. Um, but I like this Great Crested Grebe. Actually, let's take a look while we're looking at the feeder. No fish. No fish, so maybe that's where Osprey comes into play. Uh, but this is a really good opening well and bird. Draw one card uh, for each empty card slot and uh, keep the best one, basically. So, yeah, you play that straight away in your uh, wetlands and start drawing, and you're seeing lots of cards, so uh, definitely handy. So, real good choice on the bonus cards as well. Um, that's quite a difficult one. Omnivore or Ecologist now don't have any uh, on novel birds so I probably lean towards ecologist here purely on that basis normally I think you can normally hope for four pretty straightforwardly on this and uh, six is not too difficult either but yeah not really sure what else I keep here um, lots of brown powers which you like I mean always good to see lots of brown powers um, chaffinch could be handy particularly I'm looking at his end around goals birds with tuck cards um, eggs in the grasslands and eggs in bolt nests as well. It does hit all of those. Um, Colt it as well is pretty good early on. Um, get that down, get some food. Like I said, a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying that there is no fish uh, in the feeder. That could definitely slow me down a little bit here. Um, so yeah, tricky decisions, tricky decisions. I can see this going a few ways. I could definitely see myself keeping the Colt in the Grebe. Uh, but like I say, I do kind of want this Chaffinch as well. Um, at the very least for these end of rounds. But um, if you're doing a bit of digging with the Grebe, you can find some stuff and uh, yeah, get uh, get tucks. But the stuff that isn't so good. Um, but I am still, I am still definitely tempted by this Osprey as well, just as the way of getting the fish here for this Grebe. Um, and again, any extra cards. You know, they, they get tucked under the Chaffinch, so I could see myself playing the Osprey, take cards twice, and then that gives me the two fish here. Immediately play the Grebe. Of course, I'm giving fish to my opponent as well. It's not ideal. Um, but this could help just get things going, and maybe we leave the Colt and just keep the Chaffinch and do something like this. I think we might go for that. See what we find. Um, and yeah, Chaffinch. Hey, it can go in the forest in a pinch. Uh, if we're desperately in need of something. So um, let's lock that in. Let's lock that in and we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Maybe my opponent, maybe they are going to go for that flycatcher. In which case, I wouldn't mind a few free worms coming my way. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what they're going to do. But like I said, I think Osprey here for the opening. Uh, get myself some fish and then get this Grebe down and... I mean, it's a good wetlands. We're going to be drawing two and then draw three, keep one. So, you know, look at five cards, keeping three. Uh, not a bad little start. So, and um, they took the forces to her. So they'll be looking to get that down, I imagine. And great hit pops up, which is pretty good. But, um, yeah, kind of challenging, I think, in this position for me. To be able to afford that. Uh, I might still grab it, but we'll see. For now, for sure, get this Osprey down. And uh, start drawing some cards. See where that takes us. And then, like I say, I'm going to have to think about this chap inch and uh, and how we best use it because I think it is best in the grasslands. And as, as I say, with these end of round goals as well, uh, definitely, definitely tempting. Now, Harrier goes down. That is a bird that can get a tucked card. So we have to watch out on that because uh, that could be their ticket. To, uh, to get some points off this end around. Like I say, we do at least have this, so. 
Um, yeah, I'm definitely hoping I can find a cheap forest bird. So I don't have to use this as the forest bird, but like I say, in a pinch, you put it down, you can at least discard some of these extra cards, and I'm going to be drawing lots of cards. Um, and start to, uh, yeah, get a bit more food going. But I'd rather have, I'd rather have a resource gaining brown power than uh, the chaffinch, for sure. Uh, but we'll see. So I'm going to imagine that they will be laying eggs here. And they are. Um, and then they'll play the forces turn. And then I think for them it's just going to be about digging, as it is going to be for us. So and we're going to draw. I think we just go blind. Okay, chimney swift. Chimney Swift. Probably not the game for Chimney Swift. I'm just trying to work out in my head if there's a way of getting this and the Chaffinch down. But I think if we're playing Grebe, that already takes up the next two turns. Uh, there's not enough time to get these down and then tuck cards on them both. So slightly wishful thinking. But there we go. Force of goes down and they're used to my fish. So very, very smart stuff. Copper Blackbird. <laughs> Oh man, more bad birds coming up, but so be it. Um, so be it, yeah. We've got the two fish now, so at least we can get this grebe. And uh, yeah, like I said, I think at least one turn drawing, because I think we are going to need to play the chaffinch, and then um, I kind of I want to put it in the grasses here. I'm going to put it in the grasses, I think, and then lay eggs and get the one tuck on it. Um, I think that's going to be important. And then, yeah, next end around goal as well. That would be an interesting one. We're both going to be in very similar positions. Um, but yeah, hopefully hopefully this Chaffinch will set us up with a nice start to the grasses, but it's all going to be about finding the food generation. I mean, if we could find a crow, I mean, American or fish crow would be excellent. But yeah, just something. I think something to go in the grasses and get a bit of food going. That's going to be key. But um, I have had some good games in the past with this Chaffinch. It's been a while. But I did have I had a flurry of games in a previous tournament where this bird seemed to keep coming up like every game or every other game um, in these sort of situations where I was going for the early card draw and then just tucking whatever I was finding later and uh, it seemed to work pretty well so uh, we'll see hopefully hopefully we can get some similar success here because um, yeah we're certainly going to be drawing lots of cards looking at lots of cards so I think we're going to have plenty, hopefully, later on to be tucking under this challenge. But here we go. What are they doing? Drawing birds. Pretty standard. Harry is missing, which is excellent. Please keep missing. That could be a huge swing in points here um, in our favour with the centre round. But yeah, Grebe's going to go down. Grebe is going to go down. And yeah, I think... I think we can afford we can afford one turn drawing because one turn draw cards we play the chaff inch on the penultimate turn and then uh, we lay eggs on it so yeah i think that's how we're going to go about this and we will keep using this osprey it's kind of a weird position where i don't really want to be giving them food but i have even less food um and i'm going to be seeing more cards so in theory the uh the card advantage is with me, so throwing food around a little bit is not going to be too bad. And speaking of throwing food around a little bit, I think they just picked up that scissor tough flycatcher. So, I... Well, there we go. Harry hits. I think... I think if I give them a fish here, I think they're going to force that down. And do you know what? I'm kind of okay with that, because if they're going to give me some worms, uh, I do kind of need them. So, uh, let's start drawing. And speaking of uh, getting some worms... I'll swallow. Thank you very much. Um, that'll do very nicely. So let's see what else we can find. Okay, not great stuff. I mean, to be fair, there are worms about. There are worse birds than the uh, red back shrike, but. Um, oh, I've never seen that <laughs> where it changes color when you click on them. Um, I think probably. I think probably hawk here is a sensible play. Because um, we are going to need something in the forest, so we'll keep that. Um, but yeah, Barn Swallow, that does kind of change things because now I probably play that in the grasslands and lay eggs on that uh, instead of the Chaffinch. But I could... It's good to have the Chaffinch to the left because later on, then, when you're tucking, you can still get the tuck and draw. But in theory, that only actually is worth one extra point um, at the end of the game if, if that's how you're 
uh, finishing your game. So, yeah, maybe a, maybe I want the card uh, cycle from the Swallow more. And like I say, this championship can go in the forest, which I might need to do so. Okay, no, they've gone for food, so they've taken the worm, uh, so they're not forcing uh, vine. I think, yeah, I think we play Swallow first here. I think this is more important. Um, get the card cycle going. And uh, we can we can hold off. We can hold off on this Chaffinch. This could come in handy later, as I say, if we do draw lots and have lots of uh, less desirable cards, shall we say. Um, this will be this will be handy, but yeah, for now, getting a bit of card cycle. And of course, this does help uh, even more so than the Chaffinch. Uh, hitting all of these end around goals, so yeah, that'll be... Uh, That'll be a nice one to get, so... Uh, definitely got some birds, at least these two, I think, uh, that we can tuck and we can cycle with and we can see what we find. Have they played Scissortail? They have, so... Hopefully some free worms, please. I'm kind of desperate for them. Uh, but we'll get rid of this blackbird. And yeah, I think we're just going to be gambling off the deck. Like I say, we're looking for that crow or something similar. Let's see what we find. So what have we got in the round two tray? We've got Northern Goshawk, and that is really good for us. Uh, one of these lovely, lovely birds. I really like these in the European expansion, uh, where you can play them without any food. And this this is exactly the situation for those birds, because I've got uh, loads of cards and no food. So, uh, perfect. And it hits its end around goal. And it hits my bonus card, getting more birds down. So, what more could you want? Um, yeah, we're going to draw cards pretty straightforwardly here. Partridge, maybe not the game for you. Um, but yeah, quite uh, quite happy with that. Um, do we take House Wren here? I think we might do. Because a uh, little Forest Double Play, if they're going to give me a worm, I mean, even if they don't, I can force it. And that'll just get the food production going that bit more quickly. Two birds out there in the forest, so. Uh, lots of egg space as well, so. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, so. We're going to see. Are they going to lay eggs and give me some worms? Obviously, I'm throwing fish at them, but um, hopefully they will reciprocate and throw the worms at me. Like I say, I've got quite a few birds here um, that I might look to play that, first of all, need food, uh, but kind of more pressingly do need worms. So Worms, 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 worms. That's what we're looking for. But yeah, I think probably... I think I... I probably do do this double play. I think I do that first. But I've definitely... Yeah, I've definitely got some stuff that I would uh, happily feed to this goshawk instead of those rodents, so... Um, yeah, just a way of getting those down is going to be handy. So they're drawing birds. I'm not laying eggs yet. Fair play. Oh... I think we just use the two fish. I think we just use the two fish here. Um... I don't know. I, I'm going to be needing to lay some eggs, so... Yeah. Don't know how super vital it is if I'm just going to keep laying eggs. We'll lay eggs. We'll lay eggs at least once. Uh, we'll lay eggs at least once, so probably... Yeah, Partridge, I don't think you're going to work here. Um, and yeah, we can always... If, we, if we're tucking and drawing crappy birds, that could always be what we feed to the goshawk, but... Yeah, I think this end of round will be okay. Because we've already got seven. That would take us up to nine. They've only got four. So yeah, that'll be that'll be okay, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely hoping they give me a worm. I think I would like to get this chaffinch down just to get the grasses out, get the extra egg. Um, there we go, right on cue. Thank you very much. So well first of all we first will do this double play or do we first we'll just play the chaffinch i think maybe we just play the chaffinch um and then yeah we still got four turns left so we can always do eggs twice i think we skip the chaffinch for now um but eggs twice is oh maybe maybe we just do eggs once we can do eggs double play eggs and then yeah we'll see the feed is a bit annoying i, I can't really see the feeder getting rotated by my opponent anytime soon with the worms or with the fish so yeah probably if we do want to reset that it's probably going to need to be us that does it to be fair actually there is a rodent there I, I, I don't dislike getting this broadwind hawk down it's pretty cheap four points um, and does unlock 
another food if I want to start throwing cards, so that could definitely work. Um, what do I not want to play here? Probably Goose, Goose, Titmouse, and Swift. So two birds under the course hawk, and then one for the swallow. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We're getting we're getting things going here, uh, which is good. I think this Grebe is helping out a lot. Looking at all these extra cards, so um, yeah, that'll be hopefully important for us. So White Throat Swift. Okay, that's really good for them. So yeah, they're going to be drawing cards, and now five points, five points in this grasslands with a with a tuck and an egg. So pretty strong. As I say, hopefully if they can keep doing that, keep giving me worms. Um, I will take it. So we're going to lay eggs uh, in the hope that we do get uh, a worm that we can use for the uh, house rent. But in the meantime, yeah, quite happy to just do a bit of card cycling. So yeah, do they do they legs now? Hmm. I feel like there's two options: either they have stuff they want to play, in which case they legs and start getting the worms, or they don't have stuff they want to play, in which case you probably probably just keep drawing cards, look for those grass and birds, or look for those food generating birds that you want. Um, or maybe even something for the center round. But yeah, um, hopefully, in a sort of strange way, hopefully they have got something they want to play. Because, yeah, if, if they can give me a worm, I can use that on the house rent and then keep the two fish for this hawk. And then get myself that reroll. Up that little bit quicker. And uh, to be fair, actually, as well, I mean, there's berry and seed. I would like to play this Cassin's Finch for another shot of bonus card. So um, we will see. But there we go. Worms are coming in right on cue every time, which I'm very excited to see. And uh, yeah, I think Titmouse. Titmouse could go. I'm not sure I'm going to have a use for you today. But there we go. Gossip going down. That was a good move. I'm happy with that. Getting some points on the board. 36. I mean, there's been a lot of co op so the score is going to be higher than normal. But yeah, that is a that is something I like to see. Um, and yeah, maybe we. I think we legs. Maybe we legs and play. Play this hawk. Um, maybe we draw cards as well. I don't know. We've got some options. I'm definitely going to need to draw cards at some point. Usually, you want to wait until a new round comes around so that when you draw cards, you can benefit from the fresh trade. But we've got Barn Swallow, so it's not quite as important because we can always tuck and draw um, as stuff comes up in the trade. So come on, Golden Hay. Um, not bad, not bad. Using up the fish, and they do have some cavity spaces, so... That's going to help out. Um, yeah, let's lay eggs. Let's lay eggs. We're going to skip you. Suck and draw. Okay. Not sure that's going to be super useful for me. But never mind. Um, so, yeah. Maybe. I think I might draw. I think I might draw cards. Because. There is a good chance I do find something better. Like, I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking Crow. I'm thinking Hummingbird. I'm thinking Tauhi, Phoebe. Any of those kind of grass. And if I just get a grass and food generator, that's going to prove the, the the quality of this grass is quite a bit. So um, if I did find one of those, I probably wouldn't be playing this hawk. So rather than play it and then find myself drawing into those kind of birds that I want, uh, why not draw into those first and save yourself the trouble? I can always play this later, so. Yeah, I think uh, I think I will I think I will go for cards here. Uh we're getting more worms, which is very welcome. Um so yeah, let's go for cards. Me swan, okay. Um what else are we gonna find? Great egret. Um when we've got all the fish in the world. Don't mind if I do. And helps for ecologist as well, so. Yep. Happy with that. Um, probably not going to play this even though it does eat fish but oh, this mute swan could be very interesting um, this could be very interesting because then I could just draw cards a bunch get three points every time I'm still generating two cards yeah because I draw three tuck them all draw one back and then greed gets me one and then I tuck this under the traffic so that could definitely work could definitely work 
But we'll see. We'll see. I think for now, I do need to get a bit more food going, so... Probably is going to be Hawk. And then we can look at taking food. Maybe get the seed, if we do want to go for this mute squad. Um, and go from there, so... Ooh, Dunnock. Okay, maybe that's another reason to pivot. Um, but they are going to have lots of egg space problems here, because this Golden Eye is getting two eggs at round end. Dunnock's getting three. Um, and they're already generating four every time they lay eggs themselves, so... That'll be an interesting one. But there we go, we do win the end of round. Very, very nice. Good stuff, go to the next round. And more fish-eating birds. <laughs> Pop it up, Black Skimmer. Uh, Black Skimmer. Potential option. Uh, but yeah. How do we play this? Are they going to start going for food, perhaps? Uh, now they've got this Dunnock down, so they don't give me three worms. We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, I think... Uh, I think we play this hawk. I'm, I'm just trying to work this out. I'm trying to work out the right way to to, to handle this situation. Um, cause yeah, forest is uh, it's a difficult one. I might just take food. I'm thinking I could take food, play the finch, and then take food again. Save the rodent that I pick up for this double play. Cause if I take I take seed berry, I just play the finch straight away. I take cards again, or take food again. I then get the rodent and the seed, and then something else. And then that would allow this double play. Uh, which I do. <laughs> I do kind of want to do this double play. Yeah, eager into, into mute swan. I think that, that could be pretty good. Um, so let's do that. Let's take, uh, let's take these two foods. And uh, what are we looking for? I mean, probably probably fishery manager, to be honest. Uh, fishery manager, wetland scientist would be uh, both pretty good ones. Uh, bird counter as well, because we've got lots of tucking birds. Yeah. Um, obviously, we know Omnivore is gone. Uh, food of expert. Few good options. Few good options. So, like I say, this college has already got four points. Um... I think we should be able to hit six. I don't know. Maybe we can even hit. Maybe we can hit eight because we are doing a double play in the grass, and so who knows? Um, who knows? Maybe we can. Um, maybe we can get some more stuff. Okay, so green heron going down. That'll be good for converting the worms and the fish into other stuff. And we're going to play our castus finch. So let's have a look. What are we going to get uh, on the bonus card? It's going to be bird counter. Um, I think that I think that's a no-brainer. Um, I'm kind of tempted by Wildlock Garner because we are sort of close, but I know I'm playing this Muse One, so that's another two points. So there we go, we take it. Um, sometimes you just got to ask. That is uh, that's the moral of the story. Sometimes ask for a nice bonus card. Um, if you don't ask, you don't get. So we take those. And yeah, I think we do stick with uh, stick with a plan. So we take food here, double play, and then draw cards. And I think we just draw cards a few times. I think if I can avoid giving Dunnock eggs, um, that's going to be handy. But um, yeah, this end of round goal could be tricky. It's, oh, it's very finely poised, and I'm not getting grass and birds, so... Um, yeah, probably not going to have time to pick up. I mean, I could, I could go for the Hawk, but I don't know how distracted I want to be by that end of round goal. I don't know. If they if they give me a Worm and I can get a second Rat on the reroll, then maybe i go for the Hawk. But otherwise, I think we just stick to the plan. Do the double play. And uh, draw some cards, so. Yeah, got to say, I mean, they've got a pretty good setup. I think egg space is going to be the problem here. Um, like I say, already getting four eggs. 
themselves laying eggs, but then these two teal powers potentially getting... Well, Golden Knight's getting two guaranteed, and then Dunnock. Hopefully this round we don't have to give them any, but maybe we do give them one or two. Um, and yeah, when laying eggs is your best way of getting food, other than <laughs> other than me with the Osprey, um, it's an action you want to take a lot, because it's growing points and it's getting food, but yeah, when, you, when you're low on egg space, it can prove tricky and... Yeah, you don't really want to draw cards this turn because then you can't use your, your Heron, so probably lay eggs first and then and then draw cards, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We're in a good position, I have to say, probably going second here because like we are losing the center round right now, but we could if we're gonna if we're gonna get food, do this double play, and then draw cards. We have a spare turn, so we can always lay eggs once. Oh no, they're resetting my bird feeder. Oh, I wasn't I wasn't ready for that. I did not expect them to take food there. Okay. Hmm. That does kind of ruin things a little bit. It does ruin things a little bit. But I think we just have to gamble. Pray pray that we get a rodent. Okay. Well we do get a seed and a seed and a worm, so I think we can still force. It's not ideal because that does cost us a food, but uh, we can we can still afford this. Luckily, so I think we stick with it. Um, oh, they're they're going to pick up. Are they going to pick up that Swainson's hawk? I think they might. Oh, uh, maybe I should have denied that. I think they'll pick up the hawk plate and then lay eggs, and that's gonna it's gonna kill me on the inner round. Yeah, should have paid more attention to that. Oh no, they've not picked it up. Oh, okay, <laughs> they're the Kestrel, so um, good. In that case, I'm very glad I didn't go out of my way because that's cost me in the past going out of your way to deny something that you then uh, didn't need to deny. So, okay, well that that will win them the end of round unless because oh, Kest um, Hawk would tie it. But is that worth it? Three extra points. I'm not sure it is because I think it slows me down getting these birds down, and I I, I kind of need to get these birds down before I um, go and draw again. So I think, yeah, that's fine. We can do that. We can do that, and keep as many in the bowl nests as we can. So there we go. Right, we got those down. So 62. So yeah, probably, probably at this point, we are just looking for one last grass and birds. One last grass and birds to hit ecologist. Um, we draw a bunch and then we can lay eggs. And uh, when we are laying eggs, we will hopefully be getting six points because we'll get three eggs, two on the chaffinch, one on the swallow. And yeah, if we do get that extra grass and bird, maybe, maybe just maybe, um, that can get us some more points as well, so we'll have to wait and see. We are going to look at a lot of cards, so this is the strength, so we we look at three, Mute Swarm, we look at another one, and then um, Greeb, we look at a, another one again, so yeah, getting three points of time and looking at five cards, definitely nice, definitely nice, so um, yeah, I'm imagining they legs now, oh no, they draw birds, okay, they'll legs next turn. Uh, sure to uh, to win that in round. So let's get drawing. Okay, I asked for grass and birds, um, and the game duly delivered. So probably Martin, because um, they they are doing some tucking, but I think this golf is going to be unaffordable. Um, and with bird counter, maybe they give me a worm. I could force it down with two fish from the osprey as well. Um, so yeah, we have got options, but. Um, Ibis as well, kind of, kind of okay. Bold Eagle, all the, uh, yeah, we will keep that. Not that we have any choice. Um, all the fish birds, <laughs> all the big fish birds coming up uh, when we're going Osprey. So definitely don't mind it. Definitely don't mind it. As I say, might be. Uh, if the, I mean, I don't know. They're going to lay eggs. They're going to give me a worm here, right? I think you can be pretty sure they're going to give me a worm. And so this Martin. It's two plus two plus two 
minus one eggs is five points, and then every time I lay eggs in that last round, it's going to be, I reckon, at least two or three times. It's another point because another tuck. So this is maybe a six or seven point play, and like this is six points, this is seven points, but this only costs one food, so. Um, and this would be a gamble. This would be four on a bonus card. So, yeah, how much? How much do I think I could get from that bonus card? Two or three points, maybe. Do I want to gamble? Not really. Um, so that's that's what's going on in my head. At least so. And we do get the worm. We do get the worm. Um, yeah, I think. I think we'll wait because we might get something better in the. In the next round, but we'll draw, and uh, yeah, that could be something better. Um, but <laughs> we'll get rid of the stuff that we don't want to play. I think I don't know Blackbird or Martin. Probably Martin, to be honest, because um, this gets a tuck and an egg, but this gets a tuck and a card, and then a card with the chaffinch is a tuck. So um, this actually is not better. And it costs more food, and I can always discard that food for uh, more eggs, so I think that one goes. Uh, don't want to skip that. There we go. All the warblers coming up. All the warblers coming up. Uh, so yeah, there we go. I think... I might be done drawing cards. I'll need to calculate. <laughs> As we uh, as we tend to do in in round four, but um, I think an extra turn laying eggs is better than an extra turn drawing cards. So let's think about this. We've got five turns. I can draw cards, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll have two more cards, so I'll have eight cards. I play Martin. I then have three turns. I can. Uh, I can, yeah, I can lay eggs three turns. I'll, I'll have three foods, so I can chuck a food each time. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, plus the six of the seven cards, because I will need to keep one here. Get tucked under the chaffage. So six points a time for three turns, plus another six. It's 24 points for those four turns. And I'm basically, I'm only skipping. I think I'm only skipping one Chaffinch Tuck, because I could only... If I'm laying these three times, I can do at most eight, because I do have to skip that last one. But I think that, I think that's me sold, to be honest. So I think we play Martin here. Uh, I think we play Martin in Eggspan. We have got lots of boldness space, so I think this end around should be okay. Um, but yeah, I think... Uh, I'm trying to work out if it's worth... Um, drawing cards before I play this Martin. What could I draw that's better than the Martin? It's possible that I draw something better, so let's... Like, maybe we find Benelli, and then everything goes out the window. Or we find a Savannah Sparrow for a double play, um, which could tempt us. Uh, but yeah, I think those uh, birds could go. Raven. Where were you earlier? Um, yeah, we'll have to keep you, so... <laughs> I don't get a choice, but... Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, we're good. Like I said, I think we just... I think we just play Martin and Exbam, and then this is where the Chaffinch comes into play. And gets us lots and lots of points, so... Um, don't actually think Sparrow's worth it here. Purely because... It doesn't help the bonus card, because we're going to miss out on that last column anyway. It's two points minus two eggs, and I'm getting the fourth egg every turn by chucking food anyway. Um, and it's actually it's one less card for, for tucking under the chaffinch, so um, I think I've just talked myself into uh, into not double playing, so yeah, I think we just play Martin. Uh, if, if it had a bowl nest, I might be tempted, but yeah, end around, end around's not going to be a problem, but and there we go, get this down. And yeah, despite having some good birds, like Eagle is tempting, if I could play it. Um, it's only seven points, and Grasslands is better. Um, even with the one egg that I'm giving to the Dunnock, but I think, as I said, the egg space might be a problem here, so maybe 
Like they're gonna need to when they play birds, they're gonna want to clear clear off this because you're guaranteed getting three eggs here. Um, and then you think about clearing off here. So maybe they, I don't know, maybe they can play two birds and legs twice, and still be okay. But yeah, I think uh, I think even with the Dunnock eggs, it's worth it's worth laying eggs rather than uh, rather than playing this eagle. So yeah, that's gonna be our plan. I think we should get a good score here. I mean, we're on 79, and I think I calculated that these last three turns were 24 points, and we should be winning this final end around as well. So um, that feels like a triple-digit score. Hopefully that's enough. I'm trying to work out the bonus card over here. I'm honestly not really sure. It could be Falconer, but I think I can justify Harrier and Kestrel without Falconer. Oh, uh, could be could be Prairie Manager actually. Looking at this a bit more, they've got three of those down. So if they get one more, but I think if if they had that, they would have picked up the Sweetest Hawk earlier. So uh, they are going for cards again. Um, yeah, we just legs it. We just legs. Simple, straightforward stuff. We got the space. Um, so let's do it. So we tuck and we draw. We tuck, 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 and then we tuck. And we draw. So we go. Good turn. What was that? Four eggs. And uh, four sucks. So eight points. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Oh no, it's five tucks. I can't count. Nine points. There we go. We'll get there at the end. And yeah, it'll be another nine. Yeah. It'll be a nine, a nine, and then. Uh, an 8, because we skipped the chaff inch. Uh, a 9, a 9, a 6, I should say. We skipped the chaff inch uh, last turn, so. Uh, yeah, happy with that. I think this has worked quite well. I think having the swan, I, I, I quite like how this has played out, where I've been able to just draw and... Yeah, it's basically 5 points that, because it's 3 tucks of the swan, and then 2 extra cards, and then those 2 extra cards become 2 points. And so the chaff inch, so... Yeah, this is definitely a Prairie Manager situation. I'm pretty sure of it now. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe they just do that for the egg space and then around, but yeah, what are they looking at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. They're looking at 12. Are we okay? Maybe we're not okay. I thought we were going to be okay for this and around, but I think, I think they might be able to get me here um, with that painted bunting, so so be it. Um, it's too late now. <laughs> Can't. Can't go back and play something else. Can't really uh, play this wobbly either. So, um, yeah, we'll just tuck and tuck and tuck. And then we'll have our one last turn laying eggs. So, um, that's three less points because we're not going to win this end around. But uh, never mind. Yeah, I, I don't know. Can, I don't think they can lay eggs twice because you lay eggs, get five eggs every time. That's going to put you on 25 out of 26. And then you miss out on, I think, three eggs? Yeah, three eggs here and three eggs here. It's not ideal. I don't know. Maybe they can lay eggs and play another bird. They have got quite a lot to choose from, so. We shall, uh, we shall see. Uh, but this has been, this has been quite a smooth end game. It's not been too. Uh, it's not been too strenuous trying to work out. The hardest part is is counting <laughs> and working out how many points it is. But yeah, I think I don't think there's too many other options because that Martin has basically been two points at a time because I've been able to chuck the food and then get a tuck. Um, and obviously helping on both the bonus cards. This is this has been really good. Bird counter was such a good pickup. Um, and of course, ecologist always a good keep at the start. So. Um, 14 from 2. We definitely like that. We definitely like that, but yeah, just playing this Martin and then um, laying eggs a bunch. Even with this Dunnock. Uh, it's worked out pretty well. It's worked out pretty well. Um, so yeah. The Osprey, I think, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work out how many times I had to force stuff down with fish. I don't think it's been that many. 
Um, because I think these worms, it's basically been fish and worms has been uh, has been my diet in this game. And I've managed to, to get quite fortunate, pick up quite a few birds that eat uh, mostly just fish and worms. I think maybe we only open food once to play this uh, Casted's Finch, so yeah, otherwise it's just been get the fish. Uh, picking up this great egret was really good. So yeah, obviously using worms elsewhere. So and they're laying eggs, but they're skipping the flycatcher, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they've got something that just costs one fish, but um, we shall see. We shall lay eggs first of all. And yeah, skip that. And do the tuck. And the draw, and there's the white stalk, which we would have dearly loved. Speaking of uh, birds that eat fish and worms. Um, but I think, I think we're going to be okay. I don't know. If they've got really good bonus cards like me, like I'm trying to think, if they have got Pro Manager, and maybe, I don't know, maybe Falconer would be the other good one. Uh, then they would be looking good, but I don't know. We've got a lot of eggs. We've got lots of tuck cards. Definitely more than them. And uh, for sure. Um, good. Good bonus cards on our end. That certainly doesn't help. Uh, well, certainly doesn't harm. And definitely does help uh, our chances here. So, yeah. What are they going to do? Do they have something like a Clark's Grebe or... Yeah, something to just plonk that down in the in the wetlands, clear off your Dunnock eggs, and then get another golden eye egg. I don't know. That feels like it might be it might be an option. And lots of cards in hand. Maybe that's what they're gonna go for, but um, yeah. If it is Prairie Manager. Then uh, it's worked out pretty well for them. Worked out pretty well for sure. So, oh no, they are laying eggs. So okay, okay, that that's definitely good for us. Like I say, they would have got three Dunnock eggs here, um, and they're missing out on those. Um, yeah, only only one space on that gold knife, so they'll be filling that up uh, with the power. Yeah, that does that does win them the end of round. I think they could have won it anyway because the Dunnock, obviously, the eggs come through before uh, the end of round counting. But there we go. It's a win for them on the end of round. But what's the result going to be when we go through the final scores? So, um, yeah, I don't think we've got loads of bird points. No, only thirty six, but it's pretty neck and neck. And there we go, fourteen to nine bonus. Very nice end of rounds. I think they pull it back slightly. Eggs. I think they're going to be pulling ahead even more there. They are indeed. But as we were saying, tuck cards is our real strength this game. And we do indeed catch up and overtake for a win. 107 to 95 in the end. So we take that. We're happy with that. Good bonus cards. Definitely helping. Let's take a look at their bonus cards. Oologist, our fishery manager. Well, I played right into their hands there. But I suppose they picked up quite late. Ah, oh, King Rail. Oh, I think they were just one food short. That would have been a really good play. That might have actually won them the game thinking about it if they could have got that king rail down because that last turn laying eggs for not many points and king rail gets you five on fishery manager um helps you with egg space and gets another bonus card so that's fine margins of wingspan one food either way uh, can sometimes make a difference but um, i'm happy with how that went from my perspective bit of a shaky start not really sure what's still on the starting hand but chaffinch glad i kept you Definitely helping out there in the end. So there we go. It's a win. We take that. Happy. Happy to get the win on the boards in this group stage. And so, yeah, if you want to see more games from this group stage, I'll try and get as many of them featured as I can. And uh, hopefully we'll get through into the knockouts as well and hopefully get some more games there. So, um, yeah, if you want to see those, do stay tuned, do subscribe, and I'll see you again very, very soon.